as we go to the radar right here. Let me go ahead and zoom on in. So guys, if we can just work off of uh, Baron 7, here we go. So here's our tornado warning. You can see it's now for this thunderstorm we were talking about just to the south of Port St. Lucie back towards Jensen Beach, Ocean Breeze Park, and Stewart. So just east and west of US-1, as you cross into St. Lucie County, you get towards the Treasure Coast Mall through Jensen Beach, that area, and then down into northern Stewart. This is where I need you to take your shelter. What we are tracking is a rotating thunderstorm. Let me put on the velocity, and it's going to be right here in this where you see this highly green area. So this is going to be north of Becker Road, to the east of Florida 91, which is the turnpike. And then as they go in street level, this is gonna go around Northwest Mariner Court. We're talking about Ballantree Court, and then right off of Britt Road. If you live in that area, right along the South Fork of the river there, through a Stewart, and as you get into Port St. Lucie, take shelter, get away from the windows, Use your bathroom, keep your TV on. If you have us on the app, that's a great way. As this thunderstorm is quickly moving, now it is inching closer towards US-1. So we're gonna talk about Northwest Federal Highway back up towards the Treasure Coast Mall. So if you live in that area, we're now getting into a portion of Stewart and towards Jensen Beach. So if you live off of Jensen Beach Boulevard and then points down to the south, as you cross US-1 from Stewart into Port St. Lucie and Jensen Beach, this is where the dangerous portion of the thunderstorm is. Again, so a new tornado warning has been issued for this area, and this is going into effect until 5.30 this afternoon. You can see it right there on your screen. And the thunderstorm in question, let me draw it right here, is going to be right here where you see this curvature just a little bit. So this is just going to be just west of US-1. Heads up around US-1, back out towards the Stewart area. Not just, it hasn't crossed the uh, Port St. Lucie, Jensen Beach area just yet, but let me zoom on in and I want, to, I want to give you kind of a street level of where the most dangerous portion of this thunderstorm is now sitting. So this is 95, back towards the east. Now we're talking about the Turnpike and Becker Road. That's where the uh, most dangerous portion of this thunderstorm is sitting. There is a tornado warning that has been issued for this area for a portion of Martin and St. Lucie County until 530. So that's where the thunderstorm is sitting. Turnpike, Becker. If you live east of that area, you need to seek your shelter right now. At least get away from windows. These types of thunderstorms, as you've seen in the past, we've dealt with severe weather over the past couple of weeks. They can form a tornado very quickly. And I'm still seeing that curvature. So again, the tornado threat continues right now. Now we're getting even closer towards US-1. So let me point out some neighborhoods here. This is going to be US-1 right off of, uh, I'd say, Jensen Beach Boulevard. So the Treasure Coast Mall right around US-1 points down to the south. Those areas of Jensen Beach. Watch out for this thunderstorm, seek shelter, keep the TV on, have your app ready. That's where I'm seeing the most dangerous portion of this thunderstorm. So again, as we take a look at what's happening and why we have broke into the regular news coverage is a tornado warning has been issued for St. Lucie and Martin County. Mostly Martin County right now. This is almost crossing into St. Lucie as we speak. It is just south of Becker Road and then as you move out towards US-1. So this is, if you put this in perspective, Palm City, you're in the clear. There's no threat there. Stewart, you're no longer in the clear. It's going to be the northern side of Stewart, right where you cross from Stewart into Jensen Beach. As you cross over the US-1 bridge and you get in towards Jensen Beach and you approach the mall area, that's where the dangerous portion of the thunderstorm is. And you see right here as I draw this on here just to give you a better perspective of what we're watching is this curvature right here in this area that can produce a funnel cloud or a tornado at any moment. This is now starting to move closer towards the turnpike and US-1. So heads up around that area. And we've got a sky cam on the bottom side that is uh, pointed out towards Nettles Island. And then we also have a Port St. Lucie sky cam that we could also point up. So let me go ahead and do this and just put a uh, future track and a scan it forward as we run this to give you the idea of where this is headed. Jensen Beach, you've got between 10 and 15 minutes. Skyline Heights, 
15 minutes, you know, on that hilly side of Jensen Beach, kind of the, the northernmost port part, you kind of go up skyline and you take it up and you can, you know, see the intracoastal, that highest point of Jensen, that area about 10 to 15 minutes, and Waveland about 19 minutes. On the bottom of your screen is going to be Port St. Lucie watching the thunderstorm uh, move on in. If we have somebody in engineering, somebody that can twist the Mid Florida Event Center camera just more to the southwest because that's where the uh, biggest thunderstorm is sitting. If uh, you can't, then I can kind of do it on my own right here, but still sitting a uh, pretty decent signature. Our news team is also working to see if we're seeing any power outages as this thunderstorm quickly moves. And I'm talking about quickly. Look how quickly it was. It was just over Becker in 95. Now is approaching. This is going to be US 1, Martin Luther King. Gowen Drive, Westmoreland, Hondo, Sunshine. If I'm saying your streets, that's where the most dangerous portion of the thunderstorm is. Ballantrae Court, Southeast Ballantrae Court. Then we get into our neighborhoods here as we're right along the, uh, the river there. Westmoreland, as we get in towards Morningside, that area is where we're seeing the strongest thunderstorm move in. That can produce a tornado at any moment. So let's regroup and recap. We are on the air with a tornado warning that has been issued for Martin and St. Lucie County until 530. What am I tracking? A couple of stronger thunderstorms that have popped severe now as they move closer to the coast. One now that is moving from Stewart to Jensen Beach area, right along the county line in Martin and St. Lucie. Basically, as you cross from Stewart across the US-1 bridge and you head closer towards the Treasure Coast Mall, that's where the most dangerous portion of the thunderstorm is headed in your direction about 10 minutes. I also want to talk about this strong thunderstorm developing west of tradition. This one also showing a little more rotation. And what we are tracking is they're getting a little bit on the stronger side as they do move closer to the coast. So let me put on our base velocity. Still looking at high reflectivity. Basically, I'm looking at the radar for you, and I'm still seeing some very strong winds out of this thunderstorm as we move now from a portion of southeastern Port St. Lucie, northwestern Stewart, and as you cross in towards Jensen Beach. That's where the strongest thunderstorm is sitting. So this is right along the county line. You can see it right there on your screen. County line road right around US 1, and then we head up towards uh, Ocean Drive just south of Walton. There's Leonard. So now we're headed in a portion of Port St. Lucie as well. So uh, let's talk about south of the Walmart on US 1, back out towards Treasure Coast Mall in Jensen Beach. So if you live just north of US 1, you cross the bridge in towards Jensen Beach and all the way to the Walmart in Port St. Lucie. It's a very compact area as we cross from Martin and St. Lucie County, but that's where the most dangerous portion of the thunderstorm is sitting. So let's pop this up full if we can do that back there, DJ, or back in the control room. A St. Lucie County camera showing just a tremendous amount of rain. This is not the time, to be honest with you. That's from the Mid-Florida Event Center. You can see as we're looking out towards the southwest, this is looking right around US-1 and Walton. So the biggest thunderstorm is sitting just south of Walton, right around the Walmart, so as we approach Leonard Road. So I'm still clocking winds of 50 at 60 miles per hour as this thunderstorm continues to move in towards that area. And um, do we have Flea and Todd too, as we can kind of talk about this uh, together with the mics open and just talk about what we're talking about okay. here. Uh, what I'm looking at on the radar is this curvature right here on the radar that is indicating that the storm can rotate. And as that rotates close to the coast, we run into some friction sometimes that can put down a funnel cloud or a tornado. It's that quick moving at any time. So this is why that tornado warning has been in effect for the area. And I'm seeing again, basically US-1, Treasure Coast Mall area, up towards Walmart, and then points out towards the west. So now we're including Wave, Waveland. We crossed the causeway in towards Jensen Beach. That's where the, the biggest portion of this thunderstorm is sitting, Flea and Todd, as they continue to track this. And Chris, have we seen any kind of a history with what this storm is capable of producing? Well, the, a, a, it kind of, when it was coming out of Okeechobee in St. Lucie County, I saw that it was pulsing up. And then I thought like today, I was like, okay, today's a humid day, winds, uh, we could see some funnel clouds out of this. So I saw that there was a little more potential that we could see some rotating thunderstorms. And sure enough, as that strong storm moved closer to the coast, it started to rotate a little bit. And this is still packing a punch. You get in these brighter greens, 
and that's indicating winds 50 to 60 miles per hour. So I want to go in street level and show you what we're talking about. Here's the turnpike. We go up towards Gillette Avenue, Fruit Avenue, Leonard Road. We go to Master Avenue, Manor Avenue, up Leonard, up towards Hillmore. Then we take Leonard up towards Tiffany and up towards Walton. So Walton, US 1 to Walton, down towards US 1 to Leonard. That's where the strongest thunderstorm is sitting. And you can see as, we getting, as we're getting these rapid kind of refreshes of the radar, they are coming in very quickly as this thunderstorm continues to move across that area. Let me put on another kind of a rotation tracker that we use to track, and it is still showing a little bit of rotation in towards that area as well. Lots of lightning. Again, we have our Port St. Lucie camera on the top. It is showing for the very heavy rainfall, and I know it is 5 o'clock in St. Lucie County, and people are just getting out of work. This is not the time to drive on 95, the Turnpike, or US-1. These are very, very heavy rains, and as I widen the shot just a little bit, you can see I'm also tracking another batch of very, very strong to isolated severe thunderstorms just west of that area. So there will be some reports of winds that can be as high as 50 or 60 miles per hour, but the main focal point right now is going to be in Port St. Lucie, back to around Jensen Beach. As you get through the parkway, you're going to take the parkway all the way up towards uh, uh, portion of Jensen Beach that rides along the intracoastal right there and then uh, all the way out towards the coast. We also do have our Nettles camera right there. If we can pop that one up as well, DJ, back in the control room that is pointed, that is situated right on Jensen Beach to give us an idea of what's happening as far as the rainfall is concerned. And Chris, the conditions are so unusual. We've been talking about this for weeks. I think that anytime you say tornado warning in January in South Florida, people are, are very, very surprised. But we are in kind of in through the outdoor on this weather this season because Absolutely. of El Nino. Absolutely. And, you know, we started talking about this for months before that we are in that pattern, El Nino, that is allowing for the storm systems to come further to the south and give us that chance for severe thunderstorms. We dealt with two severe weather outbreaks or events last week. We've got one that's popping up right now, and it's, that's the way the season's going to go over the next few months. And yeah. we're going to see weekly chances for strong to severe thunderstorms because of that pattern that is going to be in, in effect for the next few months. So uh, as we get back to the radar, you can see what we're tracking right here. Leonard, and I'm just naming the streets because I just want to show you where the strongest thunderstorm is sitting. So this is going to be Leonard East out towards Heathward, Heathwood, Bowie, Genoa, Gaslight, Trillo, that area, Manor, back out towards uh, Dranson Circle, Gaskin Circle, Mandrake Circle, and then all the way up towards Walton. That's where the strongest portion of that thunderstorm is sitting. Again, this tornado warning is in effect until 5.30, so we will be on the air until the threat passes for your area. But what I've seen is some pretty decent news as far as the rotation, at least the couplet. The couplet has weaken it's not as tight but i'm still t talking about winds inside this thunderstorm that are popping anywhere between say 45 to 55 miles per hour as this thunderstorm closely uh, now is moving closer towards walton road ocean drive so this is crossing nettles island and then into the uh, coastal community of the beach community there and we go around jensen beach so you go to downtown jensen beach and you take uh, indian river drive that nice little scenic area right along the uh, intracoastal there. That's where the uh, highest portion is going to be. And there's also this uh, pretty, it's pretty cool to, to think, but it's uh, the highest point in Martin County is right along Skyline Drive off of Indian River Drive. And, but that's, I'm saying that if you live in that area, that that's where the uh, strongest thunderstorm is sitting. And you can see that we're dealing with lots of lightning, so I'm sure there will be some power outages moving forward. And that's one of our sky cams there. Is that downtown? West Palm? So that's going to be to the, the Mid Florida Event Center in Port St. Lucie. So okay. this is pointed to the east, or sorry, to the west at US 1 and Walton. So that's where the pretty decent thunderstorm is sitting. When we're looking at the radar like this, it's hard to tell the, the size, the scope of this storm system right now. Can you give people an idea of how big that is? Like how uh, big the, the storm is? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's, it looks like it's two miles wide. So two. That's two, a lot. Yeah. yeah, two miles wide. So uh, the strongest thunderstorm is going from Treasure Coast Mall up towards US-1 and uh, north of the uh, Civic Center there, out towards the McDonald's. You get out towards mm -hmm. Bayshore and that area. 
And Chris, this area, I mean, I was up at the Mid Florida Event Center on Saturday for an event. I mean, and they got rain all weekend. You know, we had rain up there on Saturday. They got rain yesterday. I mean, it's been a pretty wet couple of days. And I think, you know, to Todd's point, he talked about, you know, for a lot of people, it's like, wait a minute, this is the dry season. We shouldn't be dealing with things like this. But unfortunately, this is when we typically see some of the more severe weather in the summer and winter time for us when a lot of cold fronts come down, we, you know, we have the collision of the two air masses and we tend to see this, the threat for severe weather. Absolutely. Again, and, and it's, it's not, El Nino is not helping because El Nino drops the storm track to the south. And that's why we get more of these southern storms to come through. That's why you're seeing really weird winter weather conditions across the south because mm -hmm. the, the jet stream, the storm track that drives all the storm tracks, uh, it has moved down towards the south. I do want to point out that this is also a nasty storm now producing uh, some gusty winds, also a little bit of rotation out towards tradition. So we go down and towards tradition off of Gatlin Boulevard, Range Line Road, Glades Cutoff Road, heads up. That is another nasty cell that I'm keeping a close eye on. And this one also showing indications that we could see some rotation as well. It also is starting to pulse up as well. So we've got two areas, Flea and Todd. This one not letting up. You get in these bright greens, that's concerning. That's where the winds are the highest in these bright green squares. So what we're looking at is the radar. The radar is sampling the winds and how high the winds can be. And when you get into these bright greens, that's where you're seeing the strongest thunderstorm winds that could be as high as 50 or 60 miles per hour. We're seeing, uh, actually, we got a report that the Copperleaf neighborhood in Palm City actually has some wind damage from in this. Palm City? Right yeah. now, yeah. Okay, so that is uh, Palm City. You said, what was that neighborhood, Todd? Uh, it Copper was Copper Leaf. Leaf. Copper Leaf, gotcha. And we ask our viewers, you are our eyes and ears out there. So obviously we don't want you outside in conditions like this, but whatever you can see from you know, your windows or whatever you can hear, feel free to send us an email, reach out to us on social media, let us know what's happening in your neighborhood, now whatever turn, you're experiencing. I'm going to turn that camera just a little bit because it's a testament of how quickly the thunderstorms are moving. You see some clearing right here. This is going mm -hmm. to be the mid uh, through Port St. Lucie County, but uh, the Port St. Lucie Civic Center. But as I move the camera. You saw and, that lightning. And you point it closer to the coast. Uh, you can see how darker it gets. That's where the strongest thunderstorm is sitting as I move the camera back. And now we're going to be looking towards the east and out towards the beaches. So I still got a nasty storm over Leonard Road in Walton. That area, still pretty decent winds and rain's coming down as well. Again, this warning's in effect until 530. So we're going to be on the air. But what's concerning is there's another thunderstorm that is sitting just towards our west, especially as we go out towards um, the tradition area. So as we take, you see this, the, the uh, pinks right here, that's indicating the strongest thunderstorm. That cell is now over Range Line Road, back out towards uh, Glades Cutoff Road. This is just west of tradition, right along I-95. So another batch uh, is about to move in towards the tradition area, just south of PJ village. And I just don't recommend you driving in this stuff. Uh, you can see how heavy it is uh, that is coming down. So some better news, I think, out of that thunderstorm that prompted tornado warning. So this is actually a confirmed tornado we're hearing now. Let me go ahead and check in with the weather service because we do have that partnership with right. them. Uh, and we're also getting those photos in. I know the desk and everyone back there are working to get in any kind of photos. But when you see, look at, look at the screen right there. You see confirmed tornado warning. We never really see that. That means that there's that highly likelihood that we actually had a tornado on the ground. It was spotted. It was spotted. Okay, so what's going to happen now is the weather service is, we just got some uh, video or viewer pictures in from Canopy Creek near Palm City, trampolines toppled over. The um, weather service has canceled the tornado warning for Martin County and is going to keep it for St. Lucie County. Do we have any video in that we can show so far? Folks, okay, okay. But we are, we're trying to get that. Again, this is uh, the Copperleaf neighborhood in Palm City. And let me just go back to what uh, we also have our Treasure Coast camera that we can point uh, that direction as well. Have they extended, um, Chris, the warning? They have not. They just kept the one for St. Lucie County until 530, until 530 okay. correct. So the 
for Martin County, the warning has been dropped, but still in effect for St. Lucie County for Correct. six minutes or so. Right. So, yeah, Weather Service continues tornado warning for St. Lucie County until that goes in effect for the next six minutes. And then Weather Service, they do cancel the tornado warning for a portion of Martin County. So that's the latest from the Weather Service. Again, we have a great working relationship with them um, as these thunderstorms quickly pulsed up and fleeing and Todd to be honest with you I've never seen a confirmed tornado warning wording like that yeah that means that it's more than radar indicated right that we could have sent we could have seen they would have said radar indicated correct that we could have seen a funnel cloud mm -hmm. uh, or anything of that nature usually these tornado warnings are issued because of radar indication but this is the first time honestly that I've seen confirmed in the wording uh, with this tornado warning that is moving through St. Lucie County. Does that have to come from the National Weather Service to confirm it? Uh, do they have to do it. Do they have to eyeball it? So, to... you know, there's a lot of storm spotters, right? Yeah. So if you're a confirm, if you're a, a certified storm spotter, you see, oh, there's a tornado on the ground. They issue that report to the weather service. They say one of our storm spotters confirms a tornado. They put it in the writing when they issue the warning. So you have to be a certified right. storm spotter, you know, to, so it is official. It is, you know, something that can be uh, backed up. And I'm, what I'm going to do here is change the Treasure Coast camera up just a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Okay, gotcha. So as we see right now, let me go ahead and work on that real quick. Chris, for people at home who are wondering, the storm is moving um, southeast or moving towards the east? East-northeast. East-northeast. Okay. East-northeast. So right now the strongest portion of the thunderstorm is just around Jensen and then points up towards St. Lucie County through the Intracoastal. Now we're in Hudson Island. Now we're north of Nettles Island. We're out towards the power plant right now with that strongest thunderstorm. And I'm trying to just manipulate our Nettles Island camera so we can get that popped up on a source as well. Still have about three or four minutes left in that tornado warning that's just for St. Lucie County now. And do you expect it to expire, Chris? Here's the deal, Todd. I expect it to expire, but there's another storm that is also popping just west of it that is now moving through the tradition area. The same area that this thunderstorm just moved, mm -hmm. there's another strong severe thunderstorm just west of where this warning has been issued. So more rain moving into the same area that Correct. was just affected. Like, to be honest, I just want to say, if you have to travel, if you have travel plans in St. Lucie County, just don't do it right now i mean there's heavy rain that are coming through that is coming through a multiple highly populated areas from tradition to pga village all the way into fort pierce and back out towards us1 it's just going to be too dangerous as these strong to severe thunderstorms continue to move through so if you can't if you can just stay put and you know you're running some errands you're getting off of work i know this is the tough time because everyone's getting off of work if you can just stay put for a little bit until the threat passes rather be safe than sorry especially with these thunderstorms that's good advice because, I mean, it's, it's massive, that storm that you said behind it. You and here's know. another thing. These can be rain-wrapped as well, so you can't, you you can't, know, you can't really see the actually uh, center of circulation. Right. And I'll tell you, I noticed yesterday and today, but especially today, the humidity out there just doesn't feel like January here. It just does not. It reminded me more of late spring in the Midwest or something. It Absolutely. Just, it's and way it, too humid. And a lot of people were saying that. We're tired. Where's the sun? First of all, this is not the dry season. It's way too humid, as you just said. Perfect ingredients uh, for the, the situation that we're seeing right now. And it's these ingredients that come, to very, come together very quickly that produce these thunderstorms at any given moment. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to pop up that Nettles Island camera but as we go in, let me check with the Weather Service, see what, if they have any kind of updates. Uh, as we pop up this storm picture video, this is out of Jensen Beach. This is what we're looking at. You can see if I'm, that's looking like maybe the St. Lucie River, the Intracoastal. That lowering of the cloud is where we would see the rotation uh, coming through. So that's what uh, is what we're going to see. Again, these are from Jensen Beach. That's correct, Alex? And we are still trying to get more uh, information on any possible storm damage. We had that Copper Leaf neighborhood. And I also, in Palm City. yeah, because we're, we're getting video now that I see. Uh, so, guys back there in the uh, newsroom, video just coming in from Leonard and Master. I was just talking about those streets, Leonard and Master. 
Uh, that's on our Facebook page. You can see a funnel cloud that's coming in. We also got a few new pictures that are coming in as well. Uh, let me check with the weather service in uh, Melbourne and see what they have just said as we continue to track these storms. So as of late, 529, the warning goes in effect until 530, so for the next minute. But I also want to point your attention out to the west, especially down towards Becker and in towards uh, Gatlin Boulevard area, because that's where another strong thunderstorm is sitting. You see these pinks? That's where that strongest thunderstorm is sitting. And as I put in this, let me describe what you're seeing. Now, our exclusive radar shows you the biggest severe weather threats in the elements. At the top, that's how fast the storm is moving. So this is booking at 28 miles an hour. This is how, top, this is how tall the cloud is. So we're talking about 30, almost 35,000 feet, just as we would fly in an airplane. Hail percentage, 70% chance we see hail. And out of that, hail size, about half an inch. So not quite severe. And then this VTI gives us a measurement of how much rotation we could be seeing at any given moment. It's on a scale of one to 10. Obviously one being the least, 10 being the, that's highly likelihood that we could see a tornado coming down. So let me go back to the reflectivity and show you that what we're tracking. I, I, I like what I'm seeing as far as the St. Lucie County storm is, but I'm not liking what I'm seeing as far as the tradition storm is. It is 5.30, let's regroup uh, as they have now allowed that St. Lucie County warning to expire. Okay. Uh, so that is what we're getting up. Let me check other information from the weather service. Again, that's a tornado warning just expired. Just expired. Still have big stories. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Look at this. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. This is what I was talking about. Literally. It's just weird when you're talking about it and naming streets and then you see it confirmed right there on your screen. This is North River Shores in Stewart. Can we replay that DJ? Cause at the very beginning, was when you saw that very well defined, there you go. There it is. Look that at that. Funnel. Look at that. And it looks like it did briefly touch, touch the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just, it's crazy to see. I'm up here you, talking about streets and, and, there, and, where, are, yeah. and, and there you got that confirmation. This is why we do what we do. We wanna protect you and keep you ahead of the storm. And I'm still tracking just another nasty storm out towards tradition, but Viewers, thank you so much for sending in these pictures and videos safely. We appreciate it. You know, we have our crews out there as well, but we do appreciate you sending in this. They give us the ground truth of what's happening right now in your neighborhood. So again, thank you for sending in those photos to us. That's just crazy to see. There's another out of Jensen Beach, as you saw that rotating thunderstorm. You get that base that looks like circular at the bottom, and that's where you see the rotation come through. Do you see rotation in the tradition area? Because I know that's the most serious storm you're looking at right I've now. I've got a little bit of rotation there. It is broad at this moment. It is not as compact as it was for the St. Lucie Northern Stewart storm but it is holding together. So that's why I'm really keeping a close eye on that. And I also have another area that I'm watching now through the turnpike. And uh, this is along Port St. Lucie Boulevard in the turnpike. So my advice, to be honest with you, is if you live in Port St. Lucie, if you live in St. Lucie County, do not travel right now, honestly. It's just too dangerous. On the west side, St. Lucie West, in through the heart of Saint, uh, Port St. Lucie, out towards US-1, it's raining heavily in some spots. We've got funnel clouds, confirmed tornado on the ground in Stewart area, so do not travel at this moment. I just want to put that out there. It's just too dangerous. I, I would like to tell um, our producer in the back to drop the tornado warning um, because we're no longer in a tornado warning. The warning has been allowed to expire. And I'd like to give credit um, to uh, Joel. Um, Joel Waldman, our chief Joel photographer. Waldman, our chief photographer. Actually got that video. Actually shot that video for us. Can he we was, see it again? He was up there. Um, I believe he's actually off today. And on his off day, he was able to shoot that oh, video. Oh, so Joel got that. From, yeah. Yes, from his home. So he shot that Look video that. for us. I mean, that is incredible footage. So I'm looking for the spray of debris, which then you know that it is actually touched down. It, it does appear, Chris, that Briefly, there, like there's you a, said. Yeah, just a quick spray of whatever it might have touched down on, on the ground. In fact, Todd, if it, um, I'm going to go back a little bit. And there's a, an element with our radar that we can actually uh, see. 
Let me go back and rewind the radar. We can actually rewind the radar and take it back and see uh, what was happening. And that was North Stewart, correct? Right. Okay. So, uh, so you see, let's take you back right here. So this was right along the south fork of the St. Lucie River, that area. So watch as I play this out. You're looking at the bright pops of green. So that came off a uh, turnpike, Becker, pop. You see how those bright greens colors start to pop? Mm -hmm. That crossed the south fork of the St. Lucie River. That's where I'm sure Joel got that video. Notice how no tornado warning. Tornado warning was issued here, about 504, 505, that blinking screen. Then that tornado really held together, and we were calling out these cities. I was saying Ballantrae, Court, this area, or these uh, streets right there, Ballantrae, Sunset Boulevard, right along the river there off of Bakersfield. So that tornado could have impacted these streets and neighborhoods. So, yeah, that portion of North Stewart, Jensen Beach. So right there as you cross US-1, and you take it and you cross into Jensen Beach and the mall's gonna be on your left. If you're just to the right of that, to the left of that, that's where this thunderstorm that produced that tornado, and it's, it looks confirmed, Todd. And I was, uh, if y'all can talk a little bit, I'm gonna pull up another product to actually check if there was debris uh, that was indicated in this uh, thunderstorm. And again, if you live in that North Stewart area and you can give us a call here in the newsroom and let us know the conditions that you're seeing and what you saw, and if you have any video, please, we, we really like to keep people informed about what's been happening. Uh, again, that tornado warning did expire at 530, uh, first for Martin County and now for St. Lucie County. We still have very serious thunderstorms in the area, and we're still getting reports of how much damage we may have seen. But we do have a confirmed tornado warning through the National Weather Service in the North Stewart area. And we do have video from a chief photographer, Joel Waldman, of what happened as Chris uh, tries to get a better look. And there's that video again, and you can see very well-defined mm -hmm. funnel cloud, and then what appears to be right there, a touchdown, a brief touchdown. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible video. He was able to shoot that right when it happened. And we're, glad, we're glad that uh, everybody's okay. Again, if, if you uh, are trying to take pictures, do it from inside. Don't take any chances. Nobody wants you to get hurt. But if you can <laughs> capture some of the weather and get it to us, we'll certainly get it on the air and uh, keep people informed about uh, what they're facing and what we've already faced. Well, we know that there have been reports of damage just in certain neighborhoods because of the heavy rain and the strong winds that have moved through. Right. So we know we've gotten reports of that, Chris, um, with the line of storms that's been moving through. And I'm just monitoring the, uh, our Facebook page is blowing up with videos and pictures, especially through Jensen Beach. Uh, so now again, there is a new tornado warning that has been issued. And so this is for? This is going to be for same counties. St. Lucie and Martin. Let me go back again. Hold on. Let me put okay. this on the. Let me see what's going on. There is a look at the entire weather system that we're right. dealing so, with. Right. Uh, so weather service. Let me read you what the weather service just said. Uh, tornado warning southern St. Lucie County and northern Martin County. Until 6 p.m., severe thunderstorm producing a tornado was located near Tradition. This is that thunderstorm I was just talking about right. that I was like, I did not feel good about. Let's go right there. Again, so if you're joining us, I know we're supposed to be in a newscast, but we are watching severe thunderstorms and now getting video of a confirmed tornado. Let me go here. Look at that. There it is. You can't. So what I want you to focus on, I know there's a lot going on, looks like a Christmas tree on your screen, but this is a very important tool for us because we can analyze what's going on in the thunderstorm by analyzing the winds. Now, when you get a red and a green come compactly together and the greens are really starting to pulse, that is showing where the highest rotation is. In fact, we got a product that can help us show where the highest rotation is. And it's just there, right around Becker, and Port St. Lucie area. Let me, have, let me just take a drink of tea real quick and just gather this. All right, if you're just joining us again, it was very quickly after the top of the hour, we ended up with this tornado warning for St. Lucie and Martin County. Now we have a confirmed tornado that touched down. And Chris, that was North Stewart area, I believe. Now we have another tornado warning as well. And I think this could also be a confirmed tornado from what I'm okay. saying, Todd. And right. this is very concerning. Why? Because it's moving around Becker and Tradition. That area has been very 
highly populated as a lot of, of late. There. There's a lot of people out there just south of St. Lucie West. Look at what I'm tracking. This is very concerning, honestly. Uh, 56, 60 on the winds, but we've got some reds here. So this is what I'm looking at. We've got red and green. That's where that rotation is sitting. That's along Becker and Rosser. Becker and Rosser. If you live in that area, seek sh shelter immediately. I'm not on here to scare you. I'm on here to give you a first warning because we've already had a confirmed tornado in northern Stewart. And this signature is not looking pretty, honestly. Becker and Rosser. If I name your streets, please get in your safe shelter. It's not going to last too long, but I need you to get away from windows. So this is going to be Becker, Facet Avenue, Savona Boulevard. We're talking about Darien Street, Hackensack Avenue, Rosser up towards Honeycutt. So those areas from Rosser to Becker and just south of Becker. So now we're crossing into Martin County now, right along the canal there. So as we go into Martin County, you can see this street is showing Stewart Wood Road. So Felicia, I need everyone or my friends at home. The strongest thunderstorm, I, I'm thinking this is a confirmed tornado too, around Becker. I mean, look how those signatures have really come compact together. Felicia, you can chime in with me as okay. you're also, you know, you're a meteorologist as well. This is what we look like or we look for as we monitor this. And I know a lot of folks, they, they see this map and they're like, what's going on? What are you looking at? What we're looking at is reds and greens. They mm -hmm. tell the story of what the winds are doing in the thunderstorm. When you see those reds and greens come very close together, that shows we're the highest rotation. I'm not liking this scene right now, mm -mm. Felicia. No, um, that's showing very high population. Seriously, guys, Becker Road, Rosser, that area just you towards... get to your safe room. Yeah, this is not, uh, you know, I don't want to scare you. That's not my job. But my job is to get you ahead of what's happening. And when I'm seeing this couplet that I'm seeing right now, this is telling me this, this is a, almost likely this is a confirmed tornado on the ground. And it's now moving into very highly populated areas of Port St. Lucie. So heads up, if you hear your name of your street... Get in your safe shelter. You've got about five minutes to do so. Becker, Rosser, Citrus Boulevard. Any points west of the Turnpike to Becker Road. If you live from the Turnpike to Becker Road and then points all the way up towards Gatlin. These are highly populated areas. I am looking at a high likelihood that we are watching another confirmed tornado on the ground. Guys back there, I know you're working very diligently, but we're getting lots of pictures and videos coming in as well from the Becker area. This is one that oh my, just look at this. came in. This was Look at that, Flea and Todd. This, Martin County in 95. Yeah, is this that was one, one of our viewers posted on, on uh, X, and it, in a minute, in a second, it'll kind of come out of frame, but then you'll be able to see it right from the rear Watch view. Watch it, look. That's a confirmed tornado. Yeah. It sure is. Okay, guys. You know, this is no joke. Not this a is a situation one. where, uh, you know, I'm getting some text message in from some, for, from some pre, uh, friends in Port St. Lucie just texting. They're right in the middle of it, trying to get video. Guys, I know you're trying to get the video, but if you're in it, I need you to be in your safe shelter. Mm -hmm. Please do not gather video or pictures in the, the height of the storm. This is a very dangerous situation, honestly. You know, I'm very cool, calm, and collected, but... When I've seen now two confirmed tornadoes on the ground in St. Lucie County and parts of Stewart, this is very concerning, and I want you to be safe. We'll get the pictures and videos in later, but again, if you live from Becker Road, and I, I'm looking at this, and this is just a, let me go ahead and sample this and show you. It's just, you, the, the, the higher color of the greens, you got the reds. That is, uh, I hate to say it, this could be EF1 type tornado winds right here. Let me go ahead and sample. And again, if anybody sees, I mean, they're not watching Sunday Weather Drive, but you can't run a tornado. You can't predict a tornado. You certainly can't drive away from it very easily. It's, you really have to take shelter. Absolutely. So when from you, experience. So Todd and Flea, when you add these winds together, 55 and 20, mm -hmm. that's showing winds of 70 to 80. So we yeah, could be talking, talking about, about hurricane force winds. Hurricane there. force wind and a small tornado that's coming down. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's regroup. New tornado warning has been issued for a portion of Martin County 
into St. Lucie County until 6 p.m. This is a highly concerning situation. We've already seen one confirmed tornado in North Stewart back through southeastern Port St. Lucie. This other one that I'm tracking right now, high likelihood, this is another tornado on the ground, and I don't like what I see because this is now moving into a very highly populated area. So again, look how quickly that radar return updated. So now we're talking about Becker Road to the Turnpike and south of Gatlin. If you live south of Gatlin, down to Becker, and between that area and the Turnpike, Stay in your safe shelter. Still seeing a little bit of rotation. Flea, let me check what the, uh, and Todd, let me check what the um, weather service is saying mm -hmm. because we are also in constant communication about what's going on there. All right, the turnpike to Becker is the area we're talking about, Felicia, and obviously you're staring at that bright green and the red being the key place we're looking at right now. Now, looking at the radar, you can see, I mean, in that area where you see the purple, which is, that is the area of concern where the heaviest rain is coming down right now. As Chris mentioned, this storm is moving towards the east, northeast at a pretty rapid clip as well. Um, so this is the area that we continue to watch for the concern. Um, that tornado warning in effect for another 15 minutes until 6 o'clock this evening. Um, as Chris mentioned, we already have one tornado confirmation um, from about 20 minutes ago. In North Stewart. In North Stewart. And, you know, Weather Service also flees. I'm looking back on the communication. All right. There's North oh. River Shows, the estuary there, and there is another look at uh, a funnel cloud that may or may not be a tornado. We don't know. It's hard to tell from that angle whether it touched down, but it is very well defined. Well, it appears these are all... The same, this, this may very well be the same one that we're seeing. We have different video of, but what's just that, different angles. Yeah, what's that time frame on this video? I'm asking Alex, our producer, do we know? Okay, we, with the video was sent to us about 10 minutes ago. We don't know the time frame for when it was actually recorded. Uh, but obviously people from all over could see this. Um, as well as the other one. This is definitely a different angle, at the very least, from what we saw the North Stewart tornado. Yeah, I think this was from uh, Joel as well. Um, he said he's, I was just texting with him. Is he on um, the move? Joel Wallman, no. He said he had to get inside because the lightning right now is just so bad where he is um, in northern Martin County. So, um, but he was the one that shot that video earlier from North River Shores where we were able to see that shot of the tornado that was then confirmed by the National Weather Service. Yeah, the, I'm seeing some pictures right now that's being sent to our Facebook page of the funnel actually moving over water as yeah. well. And this is another video that Near North River viewers, Shores. Yeah, this is another video that a viewer took driving on I-95 and you can see the tornado right there. Buddy, I'm looking at your video right now. Thanks for sending in. Uh, this was, Buddy says he took this video about 518, showing the lowering of the cloud. I'm just looking through our, mm -hmm. our fate, because what we're doing is we're getting in the photos and the pictures and the videos. We've got to clear them and then to get them on the air. Right. Uh, so I am looking at the videos, and we thank you again for sending in what you're seeing right now. But not to neglect, again, we're still under this tornado warning until 6 p.m. And while we so appreciate you, so we still have to get your permission. We still ask for your permission to use the video or the pictures. And we should make that point again that because of this weather system and the size of it, a lot of this couldn't come out of nowhere because you're not going to be able to see it in the cloud cover. You're not going to have a clear sky and anything that any serious rotation that might come your way would be covered until the last minute necessarily, perhaps, because of the cloud cover. And we do have some new photos now we want to show you from viewers. This is in the Copperleaf community in Palm City. Video of damage. It looks like it was part of a fence that got knocked down. We heard about trampolines being blown away. Mm -hmm. Obviously, grills being tipped over in the high winds. And other and, damage. And trees down. Yeah, look at that. And it looks like a basketball Yeah, that's hoop. a basketball goal. Yeah. Gone. More trees down. I mean, and this is pretty common to see when you've got strong winds and, and rain coming down like we've seen with this storm um, that's been moving through Martin and St. Lucie County for the last hour or so. Doesn't help that the ground is saturated, so a high wind alone could knock some of these trees mm -hmm. right off their uh, roots. Ooh, look at the cloud cover there. Yeah. It's so dark. And this is what we mean. Like when Chris was saying, you know, it could be rain wrapped. I mean, you can't, you can't see, see what's anything. coming. No. You know, it's unfortunate. And it's daytime. 
you know, thank goodness it's not happening, you know, at night. And look at this. I just want to show you this. We don't see too many images like this on our rotation tracker. So one of our exclusive radar uh, instruments that we do use from our radar, look at this. You get into those reds, green yeah. indicating the weak rotation. Then you get into reds. Now you're approaching that high level of confirmation of some rotation. And this is right over that area of Becker and of the county line. So now we're talking about the county line and Becker, still showing some of those sorts of uh, rotation there, Flynn Todd. Mm -hmm. And then still a good 10 minutes left of this second tornado warning we've experienced this afternoon. I mean, so this is held together, Chris. I mean. And that's the frightening part of this right. whole situation. Let me give you this update from the Weather Service. Tornado warning remains in effect until 6 p.m. for southeastern St. Lucie, northern Martin. 548 severe thunderstorm capable of producing tornadoes located Port St. Lucie moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. Watch out for flying debris. Uh, so the same stuff that we've been talking about still in that area. So they're going to continue to hold on to this warning, rightfully mm -hmm. so, until 6 p.m. And you look at you look at Port St. Lucie, and it's just hard. It's worse Port St. Lucie. You're all under this pretty much heavy downpour, this very gusty winds at times, and the threat for tornado right now over the entire city of Port St. Lucie. Just does not look pretty right now for the next hour to hour and a half. Now what I have seen and what I do want to show you, Flea and Todd, as we were looking at this together, that rotation doesn't look as pronounced mm -hmm. as it was. You saw more reds, you saw more greens right. and popping up over the Becker Road area. This is not, not to say we're not seeing anything rotating. It's just showing that the strength of the rotation is not as high as it was over the Becker Road area. But there's still some broad rotation right now as we approach Becker Road and east of the turnpike now. That's where the nastiest portion of, of that thunderstorm is sitting. Guys, thank you again. We're seeing lots of photos and videos coming in to us from you out there. Thank you for sending them in. Alex, do we have any more video? Do we have... Uh, any more video coming in? All right, here's the, some of the photos that we showed okay. previously, Chris, of the Copper Leaf area, Palm City. Mm -hmm. Grills over, trees down, basketball goal down, grills tipped over. This is high wind damage. A lot of trees knocked down in this neighborhood. Which is really going to give, you know, the National Weather Service a good indication as to where the storm went through. Absolutely. Well, this is from what, Stewart area? Or Palm City Palm area? City. Palm Palm City. City. Mm -hmm. So this is, this could be, what were you going to say, Alex? This is North River Shore area, Port St. Lucie. You can see the funnel right there. Right there behind. in the distance, yeah. This is a new picture. We haven't seen this picture. It looks like it's somebody's backyard mm -hmm. looking right through. And again, we've got video that was shot from our chief photographer, Joel. Uh, out, they v captured vividly the, uh, the tornado that moved through. And here's our another shot. This was uh, Flea and Todd. This was 95 around Becker, if I'm not mistaken, was it? Okay, so this is along the county line mm -hmm. right there as you cross Martin County into St. Lucie County, you cross the canal. That's from I-95 showing. And this is, would have been about the time that we were talking about this is a nasty storm. I've got my eye on this developing just west of I-95, and then it began to cross. But you look at that, and that's got to produce some sort of damage. That's telling me that's got to be winds at least 80 miles an hour mm -hmm. uh, with the size of that funnel that is okay. moving through that area. Yeah. I know this is crazy, guys. We, we don't see that We don't often. see a lot of this stuff, mm -hmm. especially during January. But again, we've been telling you this is the pattern that we are in. We were dealing with severe weather last week. We will continue to deal with severe weather. That's why we always are going to be your first warning when it comes to protecting you from these very dangerous storms. And as you can see now, what looks like two confirmed tornadoes. Flea and Todd. Yeah, and we're just waiting for confirmation, obviously, from the National Weather Service. Um, okay, and again, we, we've, we're dealing with a second tornado warning here, the first Right after 5 o'clock, that, that confirmed tornado in the North Stewart area, sometime during that first half hour, somewhere around 5.15, 5.18, we're not sure, but that's a confirmed tornado. Second tornado warning. Then they l let it expire for Martin County. The warning continued for St. Lucie County. Now we are in the middle of a second tornado warning that is set to expire at 6 o'clock. And the more gray you see here, 
the better we like it. Yeah. We don't like the red. We don't like the bright green. Yeah, the duller the colors, the better for us. The more vivid, as we saw earlier, that's a worse, you know, that, that's a worst case scenario. I mean, there's still a lot of rain around, though. Yeah, I mean, look at Port St. Lucie tradition mm -hmm. then points out towards PGA Village. You've got heavy rain up towards almost Fort Pierce. You've got heavy rain up and down US-1 all the way in towards Jensen and Stewart. And then you've got heavy rain on the turnpike in 95. Guys, I also, just to put it out there, we could check those traffic cameras on both the turnpike and I-95 to get that perspective as well, what's going on on the roadways, because I'm pretty much sure that there's not a lot of driving going on uh, on these two major arteries on this right. holiday. Uh, so back there, if we do have those traffic cameras to pull up as well, those would be uh, greatly appreciated as well. Here's a look at North River Shores again. Look how this funnel started to develop right there, and then it gets a little better organized. Yeah, this is the video that our chief photographer, Joe Waldman, shot. Mm -hmm. Watch it form. Yeah, and I'm looking super close right there. Yeah, that touched the ground briefly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you could see the debris. Look, look at the debris yep. right there. Absolutely. So that's confirmed tornado number one, mm -hmm. North Stewart, southeastern Palm Beach County. Uh, yeah, it, and then this could be the second confirmed tornado uh, from the Becker Road area, about uh, 90, uh, 95 and Becker Road in towards that area. And I do, I do want to put this out there again. Guys, thank you for sending in. We're getting tons of pictures and videos. We do appreciate that. We are working to clear the video so we can get them on the air and we appreciate what you're doing to be the ground truth. Look at all these videos. This is just a crazy uh, afternoon that unfolded and we're still dealing with nasty storms in Port St. Lucie. So again, if you don't have to be anywhere in Port St. Lucie, unless it's emergency, there is just a lot of rain. It is just super dangerous to drive in for the next hour to maybe hour and a half through Port St. Lucie. Just don't do it. You can see what can happen in a very quick, Notice, these tornadoes developed in a matter of three minutes. They issued that warning. Mm -hmm. Two minutes later, the tornado was on the ground. Right. right. So, I mean, this is a very dangerous situation. Don't be outside. Not no. right now. Well, and, you know, as we were showing the video from our, our chief photographer, Joel Wallman, he lives up in the Stewart area, and he was out there shooting that video, and at one point he said, I had to come inside. The, the lightning was just too too much um so he has taken shelter now because he can't be out there these are the palm city photos again again not necessarily connected directly to the tornado these would be the high winds in the copper leaf neighborhood they've had some damage it's not minor if it's in your yard trees down other uh structures in the in the yard and other equipment the basketball goal the grills etc down knocked over by high winds. But again, we have at least one confirmed tornado this afternoon. And Todd and Flea, you know, I was calling out Treasure Coast Mall a lot, not because I, you know, I go there a lot, but I am familiar with St. Lucie County mm -hmm. and just getting a picture in from a viewer. Thank you again, showing that funnel from Treasure Coast Mall uh, that was happening about uh, 525 near the Treasure Coast Mall showing the funnel. We're going to get that one on the air as well. Chris, while we have the video um, that we've been showing, we did get an update. Our, obviously, our, our crews have been on the phone with Martin and St. Lucie County Fire Rescue. Even though it's a holiday, uh, the public information officers still answer the phones. They're still working. Um, we have this quick update from Martin County Fire Rescue telling us that about these reported sightings of the tornadoes. They said at 446, the Stewart Tower reported a tornado touchdown 8 to 10 miles west of the airport. Um, and then at This from Witham or uh, St. Lucie International? Um, I it said the Stewart Tower. Stewart Tower, so yeah, that's with so them. Okay. With with them. Air, airfield. And then at 451, they received a call at 6906 Southwest Woodbine Way in Palm City about a tornado that touched down, causing the power lines to fall and hit a palm tree. And then Stewart Tower then reported again at 459, a minute before 5, right as we came in the air, two additional reported tornadoes touching down 8 10 miles northwest of the airport traveling northeast to the Palm City Stewart area, which would jibe with what uh, our chief photographer, Joel Waldman, got. Mm -hmm. Guys, and a new tornado warning just coming out again for till 6.30. This is gonna be for uh, St. Lucie County and uh, southeastern St. Lucie, northeastern Martin County. So guys in the back and everyone in the, uh, everyone in the newsroom, new tornado warning until 6.30 for southeastern St. Lucie, 
and northern Martin County until okay. 630. So let's go back to the radar because this is, uh, I, you know, I've got to keep you ahead of what's going on with this, go uh, with this situation. Look at that. What I don't like to see. Yeah. There it is again. The bright green and the Literally red. Literally over the same together. area yeah. of where Joel got that video. Mm -hmm. So, guys, we're doing it again. Becker Road crossing that southern end of the St. Lucie River. And then you cross in towards places like Britt Road, Ballantrae Court. This is the same areas we just saw that video come in of that confirmed tornado. Again, look, this is not looking pretty. You get this bright 